Welcome back to Computers for the Completely Clueless. I'm Lee Keller. I'm Kim Cavanaugh. And we're taking control of our computer. Of our Windows computers. And we're going to go back to the control panel. Remember, to get to the control panel in Windows, you simply click on Start. Start. And on the right column, you'll see the control button that says Control Panel. And there you are. Now, appearance and themes. Uh, this Gosh, gets big. Lee, I think I must have wasted probably 10 or 20 hours of my life uh, playing around with appearance and themes. You can do a lot of neat stuff with this. And this is but basically the, the same thing that you get when you right click on your desktop. Okay, so the similar kind of options that you can get. But let's talk about themes. What's a theme anyway? Well, you know what? Digging into it will show you a lot better than anything a I theme basic. Well, so a theme basically is a set of graphics and all sorts of things that go along with this theme. So your mouse pointer doesn't have mm -hmm. to be a boring, it can be a baseball. Your, uh, you know, there are all these little cool little icons and images built into these different themes. And what's really nice is you can go in and you can edit the way your computer looks and then save it as a theme. And make your own theme. You can go over here to your desktop, right. and to your screen saver, right. and to in, into appearance. We're going to stay away from settings. Now. And you can change all these things, and then you can save, save them a as a theme. Well, show me a theme. Show me a theme that would be different. We're in the standard Windows There's XP theme. Basic theme. I get my basic one. Uh, and there's our Windows Classic theme. I didn't see any change, did no, you? No, that's the older version. It looks kind of like Windows 98. And I don't know if we have time to do this one during the whole show. No, but I'm not online. You can yet. get more themes online. Right. Well, let's just let's stick with the one. Where, <laughs> so there's all sorts of themes that have well, been created. We're going to click uh, on the. Actually, I'm going to let that run in the background okay. because uh, you know. It'll do more than one thing at a time. Well, let's just browse because a lot of these themes are already included with your installation of Windows. So if you click on the Browse button, and, ooh, it fooled me. Yes, it did. Now, what do we have to do? What now, do you'll notice that the extension that you're looking for is the word theme. Okay. So if you knew where to go for those, right. and a lot of people really, I'm, you know, I'm sort of hesitant to go here, but I'm going full speed anyway. <laughs> In your system and system 32 areas, you right. might see some of these things. Right. Now, we don't see don't any see in this. Um, system, system 32, 32 usually is the best place to start looking. All right. And I'm guessing that this installation may not have the extra we ones. We might not have done it. And it might be a Windows component that has to be, uh, it has to be installed. Yeah. So now, we if can we take switch a look back here, mm -hmm. we can see that we haven't gone anywhere on the internet. No, <laughs> actually, we, we have. Now, this is an interesting thing, and this is about XP. So right. if you're buying a new computer, you're probably getting Vista. Right. But you'll notice here, this is important. I've been here recently because I was going to change some themes, and... They don't make them anymore. They don't do it anymore. Whoa. Well, that's not fun. Yeah, so you know, Windows has actually moved towards Vista. They're giving up XP. Some of that theming kind of stuff that yeah. came along with XP. And you're going to see a However, lot of However, there's disappear. still got to be stuff out there. I'm sure with a oh, Google yeah. uh, search, you could come up with some different Windows themes. You could download it, mm -hmm. and then once you have that whole package of graphics and everything else, you can completely customize. And I remember having one that was an undersea theme with little fishies that swam around oh, instead of yeah. a mouse. And, and there all, are themes all, that you can buy, too, right, that are exactly. extremely animated. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Very cool. So that's that part. And that's then theming, right? You've got your background. Now, we've got this plain blue thing happening. Right. But Windows comes with pictures and things that you can add to this. So you can change your background picture to something that you'd like. Oh, that's my favorite. And right then there. Azul. my favorite is always to go down there. Oh, what? no, there's my favorite right there. Browse. Browse, because you want to use one of your own pictures. Right. So I've got a picture of my kids on my screen right. or, or a family reunion. Any picture that you want, you can put in there. There's going to be some limitations on the resolution. Right. And we've but, got the standard uh, images that always come with Windows. Yeah, and I'm just going to select one of those Okay. because I, I want to show people how it happens. You have some choices here. Let me minimize this background and that. Okay. If I apply it, I get to see what it looks like. Like right away. Mm-hmm. And you notice it went to stretch. Okay. That means it's going to fill the whole so you're screen. So take the picture and it's going to, going to expand it so it fills your right. screen. Now, I might not want that. I might want to just center it. Okay. Which means the picture is going to be centered. Now, you didn't see much change in that one because this is a big, big picture. Big picture. But if you've got a smaller picture you've taken mm -hmm. on your, uh, by yourself, you might want to center that, and then you'd have a black area around the picture. And another one that we're probably going to have trouble showing with this is the tiling function because tiling will take a small picture and do that with it. Right. But let's find something that is a little on the small side. Actually, I'm going to get rid of the stretch thing. I'm going to use center because then when I choose these samples up here, they'll give me a sort of a quick picture of what it's going to look like. Right. I did. How do I get on tile? 
I got on tile because many that's, of these, these are this set. is all the bigger this is. Right. So that's what you would get. So it's, if you have a, a graphic that's like a pattern, mm -hmm. you can take that pattern and repeat it like a set of tile. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Or if you had a small picture of somebody that you wanted to see many times mm -hmm. on there, you can do it that way. So that one's real easy to right. do. And then there's a customized desktop item underneath mm -hmm. there as well. And you can do a lot of fun. Um, you, can you can do mess a lot up your computer you can, here. <laughs> yeah. But actually, there's a lot of really neat things. There are actually now, luckily, there's a restore default button there. So if you've gotten in here and you've messed around and made some changes, and you're just like, how yeah. do I go back? Well, it's really just a restore default that'll put you Remember back where, where you Remember where that were. button is. Yeah, don't forget that one. Now, you can change icon sets, too. Like, very often, you can, like, if I wanted to change that icon to this, oh, okay. that's for Internet Explorer. Or no, that's from my computer. Now my computer looks like this. And if you know, maybe I want to change it to this. That's not a very good thing for it. No, I would. But not. you know what? I'm just going to restore to de the default settings. Good. Whew. Got me out of there. Good. <laughs> good thing. Clean up desktop that you can run that, or you or can you just turn, turn, turn it off. off so it doesn't bother you all the time. And it does. Yes. Or okay. at least every 60 days. And I click OK there. Now, what about screensaver, Lee? We've got a few more minutes left here, about three minutes left in today's screen show. Screensaver is great because you can actually get a lot of screensavers that we don't even have on here. Like Google will do a screensaver off your pictures. Oh, yeah. That's what I kind of like. I like the idea of taking a, a set of pictures and making my own screensaver. And I don't use a lot of screensaver kind of stuff, but it's, it's nice to have. Now, some of them have settings to them. Mm -hmm. Like this is just a simple text thing. Right. And you can choose your font. You can uh, say what the text is going to be, like we can put in here. Uh, oh, yeah. Computers really completely closed. Oh, maybe not. Oh. We'll just put in computers then. Okay. Uh, there's a limit on the amount that you can do. You could put in, so it just shows you the time of day. Oh, cool. Okay, the resolution. That would be handy. I mean, if you just, you know, want to glance uh -huh. over and use your computer as a clock. I want this a little bit smaller. $1,000 clock, but a clock nonetheless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, you can tell if you want reflections, textures, all kinds of things on it. And when you're all done, you just click OK. And, and then you can do a preview of the screensaver. And there, there's what our screensaver is going to look like today. Cool. And if I just move the mouse, it jumps out of that. Another thing that's really nice is you set how long the screen's going to sit before the screensaver before the kicks screen in. Before the screensaver kicks in. So you might want to make it lower. And I see your mouse scrolling over towards that little box yeah, there. Yeah, I like that box too. This means that I have set a password for my login on right. this computer, mm -hmm. and when that screensaver kicks in, nobody gets into my computer unless they have that password. And that's really handy. If you're in an environment where you step away from your computer and there are other people around, maybe at work or wherever, you don't want them reading your email or yeah. sending an email with your name on it. They're especially. <laughs> you know, you can set that password so that after you're gone uh, or after you step away, then you're... Um, you know, you don't have to worry about it. They'll have to yeah, log real, in to get back. Real quickly here, power lets you set up other things. And very often, you want your monitor to turn off if you're idle for 15 minutes. Right. doesn't shut your computer off, just your monitor. Yep. Hard drive, that's up to you. I usually leave mine usually on leave all mine. the time. Me too. I don't like that. So I never want my hard drive to turn off. Right. And my standby system, this is mostly for laptops. Very good thing to have if you're on a laptop. Set mm -hmm. that up so that it goes to standby then. All right, well, Lee, you know, there's so many things to look at here, and, and the idea is to really take control of your computing experience mm -hmm. when you're working in Windows. Um, and when we come back next week, we're going to take a look at more control panel options, yeah. um, and we'll dig in a little bit further. These are all pretty easy to do, yeah. and uh, hopefully you got a lot out of today's show. We'll see you next week here on, on Computers for the Completely Clueless. You got it.